Okay, I'll tell you the very first parable I ever wrote. Excellent. Um, I don't think it's necessarily brilliant or anything, but I, I remember walking down the street and seeing this uh, car, and in the back of the car it said, uh, if Christianity were illegal, would there be enough evidence to convict you? So I went home that night and I was thought about it, and I went to sleep, and the next morning I, I got, got up and got my computer out, and I imagined a world where this is true, that uh, Christianity is illegal. And this guy gets arrested, this pastor, and he's brought before the court. And he's, uh, he's very scared. He's very worried. He knows that this could be a life sentence. In fact, it could even be death. And he's eventually brought before the judge. And the prosecution have this big defense against him. They have all of these books from his library, all these religious texts. Uh, they bring out some religious music. They have recordings of his preaching uh, they have videos seeing him in, in church. And then to close the case, they bring out his Bible. And this is a well-worn leather book with underlinings throughout and notes. So the evidence is presented. And this guy, he, he tries to keep his cool. He feels like he's going to cry out any moment and say, it's not true, it's all lies, I renounce Jesus. But he doesn't. He's a strong guy and he stays quiet. And when the judge asks, has he got anything to say? The man says nothing. So he's led out and he's outside the court for about, you know, 30 minutes and then he's brought back in. He sits down and the judge stands and says, of the charges that have been brought against this man, I find the accused not guilty. And suddenly all of the, the fear and the trepidation turns into confusion and even anger. And despite himself, he says, well, what do you mean I'm innocent? And the judge says, I don't see any evidence of, of faith or Christianity here. And he says, well, what about all the books? What about all the music? What about the times I preached in church? The times I wept with people and prayed with people? The times that I have stayed up all night pouring over the Bible? And the judge just looks confused and says, you know, I don't, I don't see anything that warrants uh, a, a charge. He says, you, you, sh you know, your, your sermons show that you're a, a preacher and a poet and that your journals show that you like to write and maybe you fooled other people and maybe even you fooled yourself. But until you live as Christ lived, until you put your body to the flames, until you give yourself in love to your neighbor, I don't see any reason to charge you. And the man leaves. <laughs>